What's up and welcome back to Rumor Has It Official. Let's get straight into talking about 90 Day Fiance. This is season six, episode nine, backed into a corner. And I'm gonna get straight into talking about Kalani and Aswelu. Kalani has found out that she's pregnant and she says because she's breastfeeding, you know, she can't be on birth control and Aswelu doesn't like wearing condoms because he feels like they're for slut people. So um, in the next scene, you see Kalani at the doctor doctor and she finds out that she's five weeks pregnant. Kalani feels that, you know, she's not a good enough mom yet and wanted to wait until baby Oliver was older. Plus, she didn't want to disappoint her family once again. She's not happy about the pregnancy and decides to tell her mother first because she feels like it would be easier to let her know first. Um, but on the other hand, Aswelu, he seems to be very happy about the news and says that, you know, it's a good feeling for him because he comes from a big family. This couple is just so irresponsible and they shouldn't have been having sex if they weren't going to be safe in the very first place place. I don't care what Oswello thinks because his logic is off. So moving on, Oswello breaks the news to Kalani's mother because Kalani is too chicken to do so. Her mom wants to know, did she plan to do this? And she seemed very shocked at the news. Kalani, she starts crying and, you know, trying to make everybody feel sorry for her. But I just feel like, what do people think is going to happen if you have sex without protection? I mean, did you think that it just nothing was going to happen because you already have a child? Like, what what was their thought process in the moment? I, I just don't get it. I just feel like it's not all on Oswelu because it takes two. So Kalani says that she's questioning marrying Oswelu even more when she's sitting down talking with her mother. She wonders, did he do this to ensure his stay in America. And I feel like right here, you know, she's just gone too far with saying that because like I said, it takes two to have a child. It was a shock to me when Kalani told Aswelu to take the baby home while she talks with her mom because I thought that she didn't trust him along with the baby. So that was kind of like, oh, okay. So I guess he must be doing better, you know, for her to feel comfortable enough for him to take the baby home. I, that was just something I, I picked up on. So in the next scene over ice cream, Aswelu and Kalani talk about getting married. Kalani tells Aswelu that she feels like, you know, they have a lot of new problems now that she's pregnant, but says that every couple and family has problems. She adds that she's willing to work through them and get married. Now, she just told her mom that, and even the camera crew, that this makes her more reserved about marrying him. But then in this scene, she tells him that she's willing to go through with it. So it's like, she's just too, she's too up and down for me. And I'm just so confused with this girl, really. I'm, I'm just so confused with her. So one minute, you know, she's crying to her family and says that she doesn't know if she wants to marry him. And the next minute, when he confronts her, she does want to marry him. After their talk, she also adds that she's going to hold off on telling the rest of her family about the pregnancy because she doesn't want to give them any more room to doubt Oswelu. Kalani, she did tell her sister that she was going to be more open with her, but by keeping this pregnancy news from her, she won't be keeping that promise. So we'll see how that kind of plays out in episode 10. But what I don't get is why they blame Aswelu for everything. When it takes two to tango, Kalani makes foolish choices and gets a free pass every time. I really want to know your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with a friend who also loves watching 90 Day Fiance. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss another upload. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.